G'day guys, what's cracking? It's Ralph here. I have an interesting question for you today. Have you ever, on YouTube, seen ever a black and white time lapse? Surely you have. Surely I have, but I can't think of any. So if you have, put them in the description below. But I want to show you two side by side. The backstory is that I went out to shoot a tutorial on a sunrise. Forecast said there was, well, this much high cloud which is a little bit more than was yesterday, which is a good sign. The problem is when you're shooting sunset or sunrise, it's a hundred kilometers away when it comes up over the horizon. So whilst you can determine where the cloud cover is, where you are right now, which looking around looks pretty accurate. And there was no sun. It doesn't help you work out what's gonna happen between where you are and where the sun is. Like none at all. There's an unpredictability to it, which is, why so much of it is about chance, and the more you go out, the greater your chance is that you'll catch a great sunrise. And so I set up a couple of cameras that I had, and they shot time lapses. And then I thought, maybe there's a video in this. Maybe, maybe I'll put a graduated filter on some video, which I've never done before, and then bring you these two time lapses that you can just enjoy and sit kind of in the middle of, and see what you think, and put your comments below. Um, but I would love to know if you have seen a black and white time lapse because if you haven't hold on to your socks you're about to So what did you think? I think when you shoot a black and white time lapse, it needs to be dramatic. And to be dramatic, it has to have your highlights and your shadows and a great contrast between the two. I'm not sure I had that on the day that I shot this, but that's what you got anyway. And yes, you're right. Some of those highlights were blown out just a little bit. Oh, before I go on, please subscribe below give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to be part of the creative crew that's all you need to do i'm going to start up a facebook page too i think but for the creative crew where you guys can throw in some photos and we can have a chat and i can throw in some photos and we can really stretch each other in our creativity uh, what do you think about that idea put that below let me know what you think about that but a black and white time lapse i think there's something particular about it it's not just you know when you go out and you take a photo of the sunrise and it's just rubbish and so you turn it to black and white because black and white has a chance of salvaging and saving what you had i think black and white and black and white time lapse has more of a honored place than just the runner up in the quest for color but i think um again you have to compose well and you have to tell a story with what you're you're wanting to convey but you also need the the bright contrasts in shadows and highlights 
I suppose the actual problem is that we have become so accustomed to being stimulated with imagery, video, photo. We hunger after it, we desire it, we crave it. We, we crave more and more and more, so we crave brighter and more vibrant and colorful, right? But I wonder if what we actually crave, what we actually need is the simplicity. We actually need to cut it all back and find a new way of discovering beauty away from being tricked into it because things are bright and shiny, but really appreciating what beauty really is and being drawn into it. Not to say that color isn't equivalent to beauty. It absolutely is. But sometimes color can mask a variety of lackings that black and white requires you to bring to your photography, requires you to bring to your video. So when you're shooting black and white, you don't have the luxury of wowing people or distracting people with color. You actually have to work hard on composition. You have to work hard on framing. You have to work hard on making sure your subject is the subject. You have to make work hard on balancing contrasts of lights and darks. When with this color introduced, you don't have to work so hard at that. And I think the time lapse is is a way of, of drawing people into that. Um, and, and so I would in, I'd encourage you, get stuck into the black and white time lapse. Maybe, maybe this week, you go out and shoot a black and white time lapse. Just use your phone. Use your phone. Desaturate all the color. Increase the contrast. And put it on Insta and let me know. Or put it wherever and then let me know. You drop a comment be here or tag me on Instagram. Here's my handle. Um, I'd love to see what you come up with. It's an interesting, intriguing challenge, isn't it? I think the black and white time lapse needs to be promoted more in our world of photography. I think it needs to have a higher place of honor. And I think we need to stretch our creative muscles into it. So let me see what you got and join in the fun. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.